In this video, I'm going to show you how to solve the Alex problem called calculating mass percent composition. This problem is actually really easy. In fact, it's so easy that a lot of students kind of overthink it. The mass percent composition of, let's say, acetone, our first one here, is going to be the mass of acetone. So I'm writing grams of acetone divided by the total mass of all of the components in this solution. And then we're going to multiply it by 100 to make it a percent. So like I said, this is going to be a super simple problem. The mass of acetone is 7.4. That's what's given to us right here. And the total mass of the solution is 7.4, the mass of the acetone, plus 90, the mass of 4-methyl-2-pentanone, plus 9.5, which is the mass of the third component, methanol, and then multiply all of that by 100. We're gonna get 7.4 divided by 7.4 plus 90 plus 9.5. Multiply it by 100, 6.9% uh, 6 Alex says, two significant digits. So for the 4-methyl, let's see, this goes with the acetone. For the 4-methyl-2-pentanone, it's going to be the mass of the 4-methyl-2-pentanone divided by the total mass, which I'm just going to add up the total mass real quick. The total mass is 106.9 grams. Multiply it by 190 divided by 106.9 is 84. Four to two significant figures. And then last but not least, the methanol, 9.5 grams of methanol divided by the total mass of the solution, 106.9 grams times 100, 9.5 divided by 106.9. And when you're all done with all of these, so this last one is 8.9, you can double check your work by making sure that they all add up to 100. So all four of these, or all three of these numbers right here, if you add them all up, they should add up to 100%. When I add them up, they add up to 99.8, and that has to do with the decimal places that are in each one of the answers, but that is definitely close enough to 100, so this is correct.